that you had Madara Shiha's Shangon that I made up, of course. And Shangon guy, I just have to remember you, the Shangon King. I just like learn how to say your name one day. <laughs> but if you hear Shangon King, that means you. you. Get it? Who wants to be the Renegon King? Next up, Hoover posts a comment on a new Renegon ability. Will be the Renegon King. Got that? But yeah. So they have two weeks to investigate and stuff. And I'll say the ticket Madara ask him a question about that white stuff. Because there is still remnants of it from the explosion. And they say it matches the same stuff that your arm and your legs made out of. That's when he says, tells them about the snake eye dude saying that he does some weird experiments with clans' abilities, almost recreating their abilities. And he says they must have gave it to the League of Villains or the Vanguard Squad. And they created that weird monster and stuff like that. They take this and he walks away pretty much. With him pretty much going home or going to underground base. I see the old Chiha base sitting on that throne and just thinking about where is this dude? How much cells does he have? He and Dawn can even recreate the Shining on, he's thinking, to make the clan again or even find a way to completely replicate Hashirama because he has no challenge anymore because he thought of himself as the only person to take down Hashirama and stuff but he felt like Hashirama we need to fight again and stuff and all that so yeah So, yeah, it's the sports festival, but it's going to happen in fact. When it starts, Madara does the whole hand thing. This causes all of one, one A to jump back, and the rest of the class is being fused. But all we see is Madara blasting off using, um, say the, using pretty much creating a sphere again. He calls it his lightning lance. Grabbing onto it on both sides using storm release. Blasting him off. This gives Kaminaria idea. Whenever he sees this, he focuses storm release and he kind of blasts off with it too. And he starts spinning almost say, and get launches off. And stuff like that. Kalinari is really fast, but because Madara has like jets pretty much completely. And I'm gonna say he's also using a shield ability. What he has, I'll say he has like wire on him, on his armor, pulling him across with using the shield to glide pretty much on them, on the ground, making like an actual board on the ground, kind of like sledding with dogs. This is when he just disappears the sphere after seeing Kaminari fly. He says, that's how dumb I was doing that. But he says that's probably for transporting people, but I'm not transporting people. So he uses, he pretty much stops and people wonder why. Kaminari flies by him and he's like, what are you doing? I'm not sure if you see purple or did I give him purple? I think I gave him purple. If I didn't give him purple, give him purple. But purple lightning, instead of like just run his hands, of like actual lightning style appearing around his body, making full of body, and then him using storm release and. 
instead of out of his hands, he's he's actually covering his body in it, saying lightning jet shooting off. And why does he have the full like the full body lightning mode? It's for stopping actually. Cause just imagine you're on a rocket going down to Earth and you're falling. Like your body's going that fast, somehow you survive. No damage to your legs or anything. And you're physically strong enough to run really fast and all that. But you're not strong enough to survive that, pretty much. What are you going to do? You're going to make yourself stronger. So he starts flying over everything. And people see the jet, lightning jet, disappear. Them still flying really fast. And you see him stretch out his legs. And he slams straight into the wall. Pretty much breaking it completely. Hit the ground. Completely. And also he had armor over his legs. And this is the first time people see his armor actually break. Or, or crack a little, but instantly it regenerates. And I say some people notice that thing. It actually cracks and stuff like that. And all that. So it's the whole cavalry battle. But he takes the jet, just the normal jet, or like the Iron Man style of flying. So this Kaminari. But Kaminari can't manipulate the lightning as well as he can. I say Kaminari can take a blast and split it into pieces and move it like water streams. But he doesn't have full control of his lightning like Mother does. If he really wanted to, he can even literally make a pool like a waterized lightning. Like put it in where it's waterized and he can put his water put a cup in there. And pull lightning from it. So, what Mother is doing is that this is where I got the idea from right there. You see him have lightning in the air, and it starts turning like a puddle. And people are confused about that because that's the first time they see storm style be used like that. And he pretty much he spreads it out. He throws it in the air, spreads it out. It says piercing water like um piercing water piercing lightning water with it hits somebody almost looking like water and they're like why is he using water and instantly shocking them with I'm gonna say Kaminari he can't do nothing but try to dodge and Kaminari is trying to figure out how he to block it and all that, but ultimately he gets shocked and all that. This is when Bakugo screams out. So I'm gonna say he made a play, exploding shield, punching it, sending it up to Madara. With I'm gonna say Madara shooting just like, like regular old lightning down, hitting it. And what it causes is that the whole thing disperses and diffuses, and he catches it, and Bakugo tries to explode it, and that's when he says to Bakugo, saying that the weakness of these clay, the clay things, is that they can be diffused by electricity. Taking it, throwing it back at him, and Bakugo is going to catch, punch it, and destroy it. This time, with a stream of lightning going straight through it, trying to hit Toto, um, what's his name, Kurushima, but Kurushima is hardening. He says, hair style, hardening hair, smacking them, taking the take shot with his hair, and I'm saying, hardening style, dragon hardening, making. I would say the sugar guys with them, holding them up, and him jumping up with um, hardened wings. Him trying to kick Deku, 
hit him with his wings and hair. Ultimately, Deku pretty much punches, or not punches, but he says this is some kind of earth style, or what is it? Chakra methylation, chakra change, nature, earth, and all that. And this is one of the he pretty much says useless to just use regular old um, jutsus and he says fire style majestic flame destroyer jutsu not a gigantic one but what this does is overheats Kirishima and makes him back off because of how hot it is and he flies back down it underneath them and taking over control of carrying them still stuff like that and Deku just gets first place because he kind of just like he's in the air because he is using the little the storm style but this is whenever he says whatever I'm done playing around and he says this is whenever he sees one of his eyes start swirling and shields start popping up around the whole field and he stands on top of it looking down on everybody. Now it's the versus battle. And what I'm going to say is that Shinso is the person with the ability to, he's from a clan too, but their clan is known to be able to use genjutsus but he's a he's a branch member that's what they know him as because um his father's from it has a different cork which makes his a little different from everybody else's but still strong and all that and what's going to happen is that he's going to fight since you're saying you're lucky to be born with such a strong, into a such a strong clan, at least you're full your clan and stuff like that. And all that, trying to trash talk. Last well, whenever, I'm gonna say, Deku. Shinsu does have physical strength, but not nearly as much as Madra. Madra is pretty much hand to hand combating him. Of course, easily. Not even using a strong gun. That's how easy it is for him. And that's when Sinto sticks out his hand trying to punch. I'm um, like in anger saying, I'll get you. Or out his hand saying, I'm going to get you. And what happens is that a stream of strong plasma looking energy came out of it. But you guys know that what I did and what if um, Naruto had the Tensei on, how I made him get the storm release. Yeah, he has storm release in this. Because I, I just like Senso as a character sometimes. I don't know why, even though he's looked gloomy and stuff. And that's when he feels like, what is this? This is when Vermonter says aloud. So you're only half of the clan of the genjutsus in your half namikaze which i'll say he doesn't have blonde hair so that's why he never knew about it so yeah because he didn't have blonde hair so he and his hair matched the clan that he was in though and all that and that's whenever he never used it before but that's whenever um, I'm gonna say, Madara, like, says, Lightning Carnival, shooting out one strike that turns into pretty much like a spread shot, and this is where the, I'm gonna say he tries to think of some way to block it, thinking of, like, if I had, like, a really good shield and stuff, and this is where he turns his lightning into a solid. A solid figure as a shield. Whenever Carmenari sees this, he's like, "What? How is that possible?" Saying that I never thought of making my lightning into a shield, and 
I'm the head of the clan. But his clan is not like branch family, like you have, you're lower than us. He He's just known his, how it works. is like the strongest lead, of course, but the strongest can't like make the weaker people like like separate all of them or anything like that. So, so he's not like rude to him because he's only a half and all that. I'll just say his clan was like that because they're rude and stuff. And that's when he gets introduced to the Namikazes and him and Kirishima train physically and all that because I say the Namikazes are based on speed because they're lightning. And Shinso needs to amp up his speed a little bit. But yeah. And Shinso also gets talked like actual fighting styles by, I'm gonna say, Madara saying that y you do, you need to work on that physical strength more than just a little. Now it's Todoroki. Like I said, Todoroki is a rare case of having two Gehagen Kais. Or two special quirks that are like hired. He has like that infernal release and ice release. Not water and whatever inferno is. I think it's just like some clan that has really strong fire style. No, it mixed him with wind, but he doesn't have any of that. Neither does the clan. The only clan that had that ability of having wood and other abilities was the Senju. And and the, what's it called again? Oh, the Chihas, because they're rare cases, because they are kind of like brother clans, if you think about it. Because how the Rengon's made is by the two bloods, so you can even say that it was like the clan, it was once original clan that was split into two, you can even say. So they're like brother clans than anything. He can say that and all that, which I'll say there is some research showing that those clans probably were one once back in the day, one day, and all that. But there's no evidence behind it. But I'm gonna say because he he still uses fire. Toroki uses fire, of course, because if he wasn't used this because. He was forced completely, like no, no saying no. You were forced into it by even trying to kill him once and stuff. If he didn't use it, saying Ambu or like high ranking members after him making use of fire. So his fire is crimson. His ice is really cold, of course. But he's trying to fight water. But even with his release, for some reason. Madara's fire jutsus are equal to him. This is where Madara says, Fire style! Majestic flame destroyer jutsu! That's whenever um, Todoroki says, I'm just gonna call it crimson style, or crimson release, crimson fire destroyer jutsu. Majestic fire destroyer, crimson fire destroyer jutsu. But even though he has a Gekagankai of fire. Madara is still overpowering. And that's whenever he says, I need to use my ice too. If my fire won't work. And that's whenever he says, ice style. Ice, um, freezing wind, I, I guess. Blowing also, mapping a overpowering Madara's. But this is where Madara opens up his hands both sides saying shooting next to his like ability shooting purple lightning in like a stream I'm gonna say engulfing the flames this is where he says blocking this and he creates a shield kind of like um, Shinso did with a hole in it and it's very long and this is where he says um, ultimate collab jutsu he says piercing fire he breathes in using fire to short jutsu and but what happens it gets compressed into energy 
and it gets shot out as a stream of plasma fire hitting Todoroki's shooting through it this is where he comes up to Todoroki covering his Todoroki's trying to use ice just regularly but he covers his body and runs with his full armor runs through and punches Todoroki out saying that I have no equal even the and stuff like that. And now it's about between Bakugo and him. Bakugo is using clay to, for a distraction because he already knows that his clay doesn't work. So he's using clay um, clones or yeah, clones and golems. But he's just shooting them through the heart and stuff and he says, this is useless. This is whenever you see him um, Bakugo saying, no, I'm going to use my final move. His fist, I used this in a, my other what if, but he covers it in a whole bunch of energy. And he slams his hand down, causing a, a ex volcano explosion. And all that. But what happens is that Deku literally blocked contained it and released it in one one area using a shield and stuff which pretty much redirected the actual thing so what he could do if he really wanted to if Bakugo shot like a plasma explosion he can cover it with like a shield bounce it around till it gets stronger and stuff and shoot it out with like even stronger force probably or not stronger force, probably only greater speed. That's about it. And all that. But yeah. This sends back. If you're just wondering why hasn't there been like so many episodes. It's be like how I did it where I did two 20 minute videos. So that's five minutes. So that's another 10 minutes you would add on to this. So that would cause. If you would have did that it would have been a 30 minute video. But he wins this, and he's going to go to the whole, you know, area because he won. And, yeah. And I, I'm i just going to give, whenever I do these dojutsus and I make people stronger or something like that, I just give one for all to Mirio. Because Mirio needs some help whenever I do this. But that's where I'm going to leave it off. Goodbye. Crap, I missed.